The Middle Class Tax Relief and Job Creation Act of 2012 created FirstNet as an independent authority within the NTIA. The mission of FirstNet is to deploy and operate the nationwide safety broadband network to be shared with a carrier partner. The network is designed for mission-critical data and will give public safety priority over all other users. The North Dakota Information Technology Department, in partnership with the SIEC, has been leaning the effort to define coverage and network requirements and to develop a strategic plan for the state. With deployment scheduled to begin in 2017 and continue through 2022, it is an exciting time for the public safety community. To give you an idea of what to expect from the new network, we'll be talking to public safety personnel about the benefits of wireless broadband, their experiences with commercial networks, and expectations they have regarding FirstNet. Any large incident that we have here in the state of North Dakota, communications is usually the biggest issue that we have. We have a couple population centers in North Dakota where we have a lot of people, but it's not like you know, other states across the country. Uh, but our state it still is very rural. It's an it's a, it's a ag agricultural state, and we have resources kind of spread out all over. And to get people where they need to go is very important. And through the use of the broadband network, uh, we can do that and because we can realize you know, where are our resources and can we get them uh, going in a, in a timely fashion and once they get going we can give them the information that they need uh, while they're responding so they can have an effective response. When I started in the fire service 27 years ago every vehicle the most we had was one portable radio in the vehicles. Now we have computers in our vehicles that are linked via broadband that provides us information on almost anything and the sooner we get that information the better. Having a dedicated wireless network is crucial for an incident commander. We go on such a broad range of incidents that anytime we can get information quicker and faster to our apparatus prior to arrival it essentially makes the scene safer, it makes other arriving apparatus safer, and it makes my crew safer being we know what we're getting into before we're into it. We have building pre-plans for all of our, our commercial occupancies in Fargo. When we know that there's an event going on in those buildings, they can be looking at those pre-plans via broadband well en route that helps them prepare, know where the sprinkler systems are, know where the hazards are in the building while they're responding. Wireless broadband improves emergency response because we're able to push that information out to the responders. The firefighters that are arriving on scene have more information about scene safety. Officers who are arriving on scene have more information about what they are encountering when they get to a scene as well. If I'm responding to an incident or making a traffic stop and I enter a license plate into our system, instantaneously I have information back on that plate, whether that vehicle is stolen, whether there's maybe somebody in that vehicle that might be wanted, I um, mean there's an attempt to locate on the vehicle because it's been involved in some sort of situation. That's great information to have before I walk up on a vehicle. One way broadband improves our response to the community, uh, for example, is, is automatic vehicle location, AVL. By, able to, by being able to track where every apparatus is in the city at that time, when a call for service is initiated, the system can pick the unit that's closest rather than using a static dispatch. What that does is cuts time off for the emergency responder getting to the scene. In a hazmat response, we would know which units are available to be dispatched, which are closest to be dispatched, and which are recommended to be dispatched. So we have the availability all right there at our fingertips. Another application that we could see in the future for uh, broadband use in law enforcement or public safety uh, could involve the use of drones uh, for like search and rescue operations. If you had a lost child or if you had a, maybe a SWAT situation where you had a hostage situation and you were using drones and the ability to, to live stream that video back to a command post uh, could be critical. We also are seeing uh, in our community uh, and in other communities in the state uh, the increasing use of cameras uh, around the city and the, the ability to be able to have a field officer log into a camera at an intersection uh, and get video from that could also be another use of broadband. Having FirstNet as our broadband carrier, the biggest advantage I see is the reliability. Currently, we are competing with the private sector for that broadband space on the network. And during incidents, when there's peak traffic loads, it slows the information coming down to our first responders. One of the concerns in public safety is that if the 
crisis causes a big surge in use of, of broadband by the public that the commercially provided services aren't going to be able to uh, keep up with that capacity. So we need to have the reliability that FirstNet is going to provide. It's always a challenge for communication. And if you can't communicate, that's where the, that's where the breakdowns happen and in these big incidents. And having a system that can improve that is something that law enforcement, all first responders would be very happy with. Thank you.